Welcome to episode two of 96 American Spirituals for Ukulele. This progressive course begins with the simplest two chord songs and works up through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine chord songs. You'll learn new chords all along the way, as well as strumming and finger picking techniques, all while exploring a rich heritage of moving, inspirational, and even humorous American spirituals. A big thank you to my patrons who help make all my videos possible. You will have access to a free PDF of today's spiritual at patreon.com slash uke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today we will be diving into He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. And um, as always, we'll be starting with a playthrough and then cover any new chords and techniques. Um, this song begins with a G, which is our open fourth string. And uh, our first chord is a C chord, one of the first chords most people learn how to play. So here we go. One, two. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. That is the whole song. There are additional verses. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of additional verses. Let me just show you. Every single line here is an additional verse. The wind and the rain, the sun and the moon, the itty bitty baby, you and me brother, you and me sister, the mothers and the fathers, the whole world. And I know there's other verses out there that people have made up for this song as well. Um, every single one of those is a verse. And so uh, basically you just have to memorize the pattern that goes along with this song, which is C for two measures, G7 for two measures, C for two measures again, G7 for one measure, and then back to C. All right, and so you have this pattern going, and that's pretty much all you have to memorize. Um, as far as the chords go, our C chord is third finger, third fret on the first string, and our G7 chord, we just keep that on there, but we slide it down one fret. This is down, right? This is down, this is up, right? Because this is lower notes. And this is higher notes, right? So we slide it from the third fret down to the second fret. And then we add our first finger on the second first fret of the uh, second string and our third finger on the second fret of the third string. And that gives us our G7 chord, okay? And so we've got our C chord and our G7 chord. Now, once again, as I mentioned in the last video, you just wanna practice these chord transitions until you just feel absolutely like you can just go back and forth without having to think about it at all. Um, so C and G7 happens to be one of these first ones that lots of beginners learn how to play as a pair. And um, that's it. Now as far as what I was doing strumming wise, I decided to throw in a little bit of chink strumming. You really don't have to do this. You could just do the Chattanooga strum that I taught in the last video. Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Chattanooga. If you're ready to do chink strumming though, let me let me show you what's going on here, okay? I'm gonna move my ukulele over a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on down here. So you got um, your hand, and this is one of many ways to do this, by the way. Uh, you've got your hand, coming down with the fleshy part of your palm, muting the strings. And basically your, your, your finger is just flicking out across the strings, but there's, no, but there's no notes being sounded. It's just sort of a percussion sound. And this is sort of simulating the, the, the um, snare drum, right? And so that's its purpose in the song. One and two. Two and three and four and one and two and three. and it's got a bit of a swing in there, right? But that's all that's happening. I th I I to my other students I, I I say chop like a karate chop across the strings, but then that chop is followed by a flick, so you can you combine those two together and you get a ch lick, right? So chlick, 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 and if you just practice that all by itself, right? So I'm looking at myself in the camera, so sorry I'm not looking at you guys. But uh, but you can just practice that on its own, you know. Chlick up, chlick up, chlick up, chlick up, chlick up. 
right? Now, if you don't want to do that, if you're not ready for doing any of that kind of thing uh, yet, uh, don't worry. You can always just substitute in that Chattanooga strum, like I said. Let me do it again. This time I'm going to go on and sing through the whole thing. I'll use a Chattanooga strum this time, though, or maybe I'll switch back and forth. Um, I think I'll do that. Okay, so here we go. A one, a two. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the sun and the moon. In his hands, he's got the sun and the moon. In his hands, he's got the sun and the moon. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got the mothers and the fathers, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. All right, so there you go. There's a real run through of it. Um, now, I did combine a few verses in there. Technically, you and me, brother, you and me, sister, the mothers and the fathers are three separate verses, but sometimes I like to, you know, combine, combine a little bit so it doesn't get too long. Now, if you're out there at the campfire, uh, and you have nothing to do but sit around the campfire and sing together, then great. Uh, do every single one of those as an individual song, uh, an individual verse, I mean. Um, okay, so uh, I threw in that other technique uh, on Itty Bitty Baby, if you'll notice that the chink up, chink up, chink up, chink up, chink up, chink. So I'm just doing a chink on every single beat, and the only thing you hear is the off beats on the ups, right? Okay, so chink up. Itty Bitty Baby in his hands. Anyway, I love to do that on the itty bitty baby verse. Um, so, um, all right, that's pretty much all there is to that one. Uh, this is a, a, one of a few songs that we're going to do with C and G7. Um, tune in uh, uh, for the next episode and uh, uh, go ahead and visit my patreon.com uh, slash uke and uh, become a patron if you'd like the uh, PDF that goes along with this and all the PDFs that go with all, all my other uh, videos and uh, as well as a number of uh, full books that I've published. So um, once again, patreon.com slash you support these future videos and uh, we'll see you then. Learn up.